Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're going to be looking at kinematics. Um, and when we're looking at kinematics, we're looking at it from the integration point of view. Now we've already done kinematics with differentiating, going from displacement to velocity or velocity to acceleration. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction, where we get a formula for acceleration and you have to find the velocity. Or if you have the velocity and you have to find, you're given the velocity and you have to find the displacement. So let's look at a question. So a particle is initially at the origin, moving at a right for five centimeters per second. Accelerations according to A of T equals four minus two T centimeters per second squared. Uh, answer the following. So the velocity, well, we're given the acceleration. So the velocity, velocity is equal to the integral of the acceleration. So scroll down. So for this one, it's equal to the integral of 4 minus 2t, which is equal to 4t minus 2t squared over 2. Oh, don't forget your plus c. But they're given the information of this, that at the origin, we're going to the right at 5 centimeters per second. So at the origin, the velocity, the velocity is 0. No, the velocity is 5 when time is 0. So then we got... 0 plus 0 plus c. So c is equal to 5. And therefore, our final formula is v of t equals, uh, well, the 2's cancel out, so negative t squared plus 4t plus 5. So there's our formula. The next one, b, we're trying to find the displacement. So if you're trying to find the displacement, well, that's just the integral of your velocity. So we're going to integrate negative t squared plus 4t plus 5. So if you integrate that, it becomes negative t cubed. And this is the um, displacement. Negative t cubed over 3 plus 4t squared divided by 2 plus 5t plus c. And this is at the origin, so when time is zero, the displacement is zero, so zero equals zero plus zero plus zero plus c, and therefore c equals zero. So s of t is equal to negative t cubed over three plus two t squared plus five t. So there's your displacement. But we're trying to find the displacement for the first six seconds. Oh, so the, for the first six seconds, well, let's put time as six seconds. So s of six is equal to negative six cubed divided by three plus two times six squared plus five times six. Six. Ooh, over that equals two, I believe that equals to 30 centimeters per second. And you can check my math on that one. Next one, we're trying to find the distance traveled. Ooh, okay, so if you're trying to find the distance traveled, we have to see if there's any change of directions. So we're gonna go back to our velocity. Um, so if we look at our velocity, it's equal to negative t squared minus four t minus five. And if I factor that out, it becomes negative t minus five t plus one. Ah, so it tells us that uh, the velocity is going to change at 5 seconds and at negative 1 seconds. Now, obviously, time is not negative, so the negative 1 I'm not worried about, but it definitely changes direction at 5 seconds. So to find the distance, we're going to find the distance from 0 to 5 seconds and then 5 to 6 seconds. So S of 5, we're going to put that into our formula here when 5 seconds is equal to negative five cubed over three plus two times five squared plus five times five. And if you put that into the calculator, that is equal to um, 33, and a, 33 and a third. And that's centimeters. And now we have to figure out what it is from five to six seconds. So going from five to six seconds, from five to six seconds, well, it's gone three and a third. So from five to six seconds, 
the distance is Uh, so from 33 and a third to 30, that's three and one third centimeters. So if we add those two distances together, you get 33 and a third plus three and one third, and your total distance, total distance is equal to 36 and two thirds. Hope that helps. Have a good day.